Okay, well at this time we will now recognize Mrs. Castillo for her dedicated and, and unselfish devotion. Mrs. Castillo, please come forward and stand between General Barry and your husband. In the early 1970s, the Air Force Chief of Staff, having recognized the enormous contribution of spouses to the success of their military members' careers, initiated a certificate of appreciation that publicly acknowledges their support. Mrs. Castillo's certificate reads as follows. In grateful appreciation, the United States Air Force presents the certificate of recognition to Regiment Castillo for the commitment and numerous, contrib numerous contributions that made positive impacts to the nation's defense. Thank you for the support which gave strength and purpose to your spouse's service. It is signed by General T. Michael Mosley, Chief of Staff, United States Air Force. Now you can get on the other side. Maybe not. Well, they like that. Now, General Berry will present Mrs. Castillo with a personal letter of appreciation from Major General Remington. Dear Mrs. Castillo, it is with great pleasure that I take this opportunity to convey my congratulations to you on the retirement of your husband. The professionalism and devotion to duty he displayed throughout his 22 years of service are a tribute not only to him, but to you as well. Your many sacrifices have helped make this country strong. It is therefore fitting that you share the sincere appreciation of the Air Force for a job well done. On behalf of the Airmen of the Pacific Air Forces, thank you. Respectfully, Jeffrey Remington, Major General, United States Air Force. Additionally, the lay that Mrs. Castillo is wearing today, along with the lays of their uh, for their daughters, are a gift from the Pac Ave 3 community on behalf of General Remington. General Beard presented them today. Mrs. Castillo has a few words for her husband. Mrs. Castillo? Well, General Barry, uh, I can just stand there. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please join me. I'd like you to be part of this a little bit. Really? Just to tell you, Billy has never been on time. Oh. The, only time <laughs> been on time. the only time he's been on time is for our wedding. He was so on time. So don't feel bad. I'm amazed. That well, that's good. I, now I know where I stand. <laughs> <laughs> but um, seriously, um, this, this day has been a long, long awaited for, not because we want him to end his career in the military, but to be a full-time daddy and husband. Um, though he did not serve anywhere below 75 degrees. No, I don't believe he did. <laughs> um, he knows the personnel system well. Better. Yes. Um, he, he was very dedicated with his um, job in the military and he took that very seriously and family was always in support of that. Um, sometimes it becomes a strain when he's not home all the time with two girls raising kids, you know, at home. But I learned to uh, I learned yeah. to adapt is the word. I learned to appreciate um, his time being away because he's not just serving he's not just working to um, provide for his family as well this country. And, um, well, I don't know what else to say, but my husband has been there. He's taken care of us. Um, it's a long struggle with a lot of things that happened to us, but he's never become a neglecting father or, or a husband. And the military has been part of our family, too. Raised two children, I think, I think they know better for that. And I think for uh, friends and family, just to buy my husband's career, supporting him and supporting 